We have with us the all-new Toyota Yaris Cross. Let's take a first look. The Yaris Cross is the latest model to join the local Toyota lineup. Unlike the Yaris Cross you'll find in Japan or Europe, this one is built on the Daihatsu New Global Architecture Platform or DNGA, just like the Rays, Avanza, and Velos, and it's designed specifically for the ASEAN market. Let's check it out. The Toyota Yaris Cross is available in three variants starting from the 1.5G CVT, then the 1.5V CVT, and what we have which is the 1.5S HEV CVT. Pricing for each is on the screen. Now let's check out the exterior of the Yaris Cross where all three variants are identical. We get an aggressive front fascia taking cues from other Toyota models such as the Corolla Cross for the front grille and the overall look from the Highlander of North America. The bumper is also very sculpted which gives it more presence. Standard on all variants are full LED headlights and fog lights. The side shows off its baby rav for looks and we do get some nice angles for the character lines on the doors. The G variant gets 17 inch wheels. The V and this S get these 18 inch alloys wrapped in Bridgestone tires with disc brakes on all four wheels. They also have a ground clearance of 212 millimeters. And at the rear, we get more of that baby wrap for design and according to others, some Lexus NX hints. Full LED lighting is also standard here. And once you open this SHEV's power tailgate, it reveals a decent amount of space for a small crossover. The floor is also adjustable and can be made lower or higher. Oh and by the way, the dark turquoise exterior color you see here is actually a Philippine market exclusive. And now we're inside the Yaris Cross SHEV and as you can see here, it looks very similar to what you'd find in other Toyota Daihatsu products like the Rays, the Wigo, the Avanza. They look like one happy family. So anyway, this one takes it a bit further with better materials so we have here soft touch leather on the dashboard with this blue fabric line which I personally think is really nice. Then we have some hard touch plastics on top if I haven't mentioned that. But they do feel good here on this side. Then we have also that layered design which does make things more appealing in this interior. Then materials here in the door panel are also really good because we have very nice soft touch plastics on top, some leather as well both on the side and on the armrest. Then for our steering wheel, we get this very nice leather wrap steering wheel as well. It's a three-spoke design with our controls for our instrument cluster here on the left and some audio controls, 360 camera button on the right, our Toyota Safety Sense control, so adaptive cruise control, lane keeping assist, all that is here together with our drive mode button and our some audio controls again. Then speaking of the instrument cluster, we have a seven inch display right here which is standard on all Yaris Cross variants so that shows us plenty of information and for this variant the hybrid it includes some battery engine information so that can be seen over there then here in the center we have this 10.1 inch touchscreen infotainment system also standard on all Yaris Cross variants it gets wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto and it actually is the same system you'd find in the Rays as well and here it's very responsive so far but we're seeing right now it is very responsive it's very easy to use and there let's check out apple carplay it's just typical apple carplay it's really big in this car but we'll talk about this more next time when we get to review this car then below here we have a single zone automatic climate control and then below that our push start button two usb ports one is usb c another is usb a then our seat belt reminders for the rear passengers and my current rear passenger is not wearing a seat belt according to this. Then moving further down we have a wireless phone charger so just put my phone over there and it will charge wirelessly. Then right next to that of course our gear shifter for our CVT then our electronic parking brake with auto hold function right there. And also what I like about this car are the two cup holders here because it's just not a cup holder it's also bottle holder so it's adjustable very easy to use then let's talk about the seats which in this variant gets a synthetic leather material with blue stitching and a little bit of gray stitching on the sides also perforated and it's so far very comfortable right now and also exclusive to this variant is the panoramic sunroof you can see on top here so let's open that's really hot right now but yeah that comes standard on this variant. 
And now we're here in the back seat of the Yaris Cross. So as you can see, I do have lots of space here for a subcompact crossover. So foot room is very generous, leg room, knee room are also really good. Head room is a bit lower because of the panoramic sunroof. So I don't know if this is the same case in other variants. But right now, I do have a little bit limited headroom. Then other stuff we can find here, we still have leather seats, the synthetic leather. And we have a center armrest right here with two cup holders. Then other stuff, we have two air vents, two USB-C ports down there. So no USB-A port, just USB-C ports here at the back. And I'd like to mention that the materials here on the side are actually the same as in front, which surprised me. I was expecting them to use hard touch plastics here, but here in the back, they still use soft touch materials. And now we're driving the Yaris Cross SHEV. So this one is the hybrid variant. And before we talk about it, just say hi to my special guest at the back, so, who is currently annoying me. I wasn't during the back of the new Yaris Cross Hybrid. So anyway, let's talk about the engine of this car first. So this is powered by a 1.5 liter four-cylinder gasoline engine that is paired to a lithium-ion battery. So that produces 91 horsepower and 121 newton meters of torque. But the total combined output of this is I believe 111 horsepower so those are not huge numbers especially if you compare this to something like the Nissan Kicks which it will compete directly with but I still think that right now based on our test drive it's pretty okay so this car does feel tuned really well and it does respond really well as well to our input so no delays and if ever you do want to have some fun you just have to press the drive mode button and the car gives you power mode which does make this car really enjoyable the response becomes even more responsive so when you're in power mode already just put your foot down on the pedal and the car instantly responds and it actually surprisingly sounds really good i'm actually honestly enjoying this a bit more than the corolla cross which i tested a few months ago that's very interesting if you ask me but but yeah this is really a good car so far do note though that the hybrid system on this car isn't similar to what you'd find in the Nissan Kick. So that one drives completely on electric power. This one still drives with our internal combustion engine. But at lower speeds when the engine is off, you will hear how this sounds like as an electric car. So that sounds really cool when you hear it. And I do have to say that honestly, the hybrid system on this car does feel a bit rough when the internal combustion engine does kick in. But when you're driving normally, when you're going at higher speeds like we are right now, well, we're going around 60 kilometers per hour. In this case, you won't really feel it. And then when it comes to NVH insulation, that's something that surprised me because this car is actually pretty quiet. We're currently driving on a concrete road and you can actually barely hear the road noise. Wind noise, I don't know if it's going to be like this also in higher speeds, but so far it is really quiet in here. As for handling, it feels familiar actually. It feels very similar to the Toyota Razr that we also reviewed recently, but a bit lighter. So that one had a bit of a heavy steering. This one is lighter, but at the same time, I must say that the steering on this car does feel a bit loose at some time. So right now we're going on a curved road, so we don't really feel. But if you're going straight, let's say, and then you do minor adjustments on the steering wheel, you will feel that the car doesn't actually respond right away. But other than that, it does feel pretty good. And I'm sure you're gonna ask me about fuel economy, but this is just a quick drive, so I cannot give you those figures just yet. But hopefully soon we can do a full review on this car, which by then we can give you our fuel economy numbers. But I won't be surprised if it's gonna be really good because this is, of course, a hybrid. We have adaptive cruise control, autonomous emergency braking, or as Toyota calls it, pre-collision assist. We also have other stuff like blind spot monitoring. So this actually gets everything. And we also can't test them fully yet right now, but hopefully soon again, we can show that to you as well. And that's it for our first look and impressions of the Toyota Yaris Cross. So far, promising. Hopefully, we can do a full review soon. Okay.